Hello everyone. I just wanted to make a quick video about a project I'm working on. It's a remix of the B script. Uh, the goal of the project really is to kind of make like a hackerish version of the rig. At the same time, I really want most of the parts to be uh, available at your local hardware store. And one of the big thing I wanted was um, to be able to have some type of physical shutter button. Uh, with the rig, I actually experimented with a couple of things. Like one thing I created was one of these um, Google uh, cardboard magnet buttons and it actually worked really well uh, I, ha I modified a version of open camera to actually be able to use this as a shutter button it worked quite well but again it, this is just a single function uh, button uh, then I moved on to using uh, earbuds that come with uh, a couple of buttons you, know, you have a up volume, down volume, and the call button, or as Andrea would call it, the hook button. Uh, this actually works kind of the best. Uh, by default, all camera apps on Android, even iOS, kind of use, I believe, it's the volume up or the volume down to actually trigger uh, the shutter. So using a real B-script and just hooking up one of these headsets, you can pretty much get this kind of setup going. But one of the things I really wanted to do is that there, since there's three buttons, uh, modifying the code, I was able to get three states out of the button. Um, uh, tap, double tap, and long tap. Uh, this allows me to you know, perform nine functions out of the same controls. So I'm able to actually just hold the rig pretty easily and just tap, tap away back, back here. Um, it works actually pretty well. Um, it's kind of fun. Uh, one scenario is that I can long press like the volume up button. I switch over. It'll switch me over to uh, video mode, and then I can use the call button to actually you know start and, and stop the recording, and then use the volume down button to take photos while the recording is happening, which is kind of a cool thing. I'm kind of hoping to try to accomplish with some of the software modifications. Um, I'm having some issues, but down the line, I probably am just, just going to start from scratch and build my own open source camera app that really takes takes the rig and the buttons to the next level. Um, this is a pretty easy-ish setup to make. Uh, it's a lot of parts to print and a lot of little bolts and screws. Uh, most of it is a number six 32 threaded screws and a bunch of nuts and two quarter inch bolts um, and of course I use a 37 millimeter uh, lens filter uh, and built a little cramp clamp around it so this way allows me to actually mount um, lenses just like the b-script just like that you know, with the lens and the button, you got yourself a pretty good, good uh, rig to use to, you know, record and take photos. So that's pretty much it. Um, the project is going to be on Thingiverse. All the source uh, files will be up there, as long, uh, also with the print files, the STLs. Um, this is really just the first version. I actually have a, an idea of actually how to redesign this in a different way. Um, actually, I really want a horizontal way to clamp it to keep the phone more stable. And um, in case if I hook it up to a stabilizer and I'm running around, I don't want the phone to kind of slide out and like break. So those are some of the design changes. Um, you know, I'm going to get rid of this little shape and make it go completely across and shift things around. Um, well, also, one of the big things I wanted really that I changed to this rig is little holes. So I can actually um, extend and do a bunch of extra things to it. Like here, I, using the holes, I was able to screw um, the headset. And um, back here, I also made some holes because I want to be able to like mount a power bank. So this way, I can actually extend the length of time I can record or take photos. Uh, with a pretty big uh, power bank, you can actually run your phone for quite a long time. Um, so those are like really the big modifications and, you know, this nice spring clamp, nice and strong. Um, you can adjust it by changing, uh, tightening the screws at the bottom. 
Um, there's some design flaws, like this actually gets in the way, depending on what kind of phone you have. I have a Nexus 5, and it fits quite well on this thing. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you're really interested, check out Thingiverse. Uh, if you want your own rig, um, support their uh, new Kickstarter that should be starting soon uh, for their second edition. Um, but yeah, uh, I hope you uh, enjoy, enjoy the video and, um, happy 3d printing.